Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Wedding Cars. Make your special day perfect with luxury transport and a friendly professional driving service at an affordable price. For more information, phone 07968 199 483 or visit www.coventryweddingcars.com. It's time for round two here at Oaklands Park as Coventry United and Chichester City go head to head once more. This time in the FA Women's National League Cup. The previous meeting between these two sides at this very ground back in September was quite possibly the most competitive match United have had all season. But of course they were not held. A 2-1 victory that day for Jay Bradford's side and they will be hoping for a repeat performance to continue their quest for an historic treble. The League Cup, the County Cup and the League are still very much on the cars despite last week's FA Cup dismissal. The Red Green Girls will have to win today and put in a performance that we know is within them to progress past the Lily Whites. It's live coverage at Oakland's Park of Chichester City Ladies versus Coventry United Ladies here on Coventry United TV with Liam Cook. Hughes has been allowed back onto the pitch, he's good to go. Brooke plays a free kick directly to Hughes, crossed by Hughes, we haven't tried to bring it down the area, the little ones look to clear and it's scooped over by Beth Merrick. Hughes is corner headed away, easily enough by Tubby. Beth Merrick goes for the goal and it bounces off the crossbar and deflects out of Dolby. Handshakes all rounds for the young forward in just her second match for the Red and Green Girls. Ever so close to a stunning strike. Close down by Cheshire but gets it away to Gauntlet. Lobs it into the centre circle. In fact, it's caught by the wind and taken forward. Anyway, that benefits Hague's run. Crossing opportunity for Beth Merrick who swapped wings with Anne Hughes. Merrick in over the head of Gauntlet. Hughes will get a second crack at it. Amber Hughes and an outstanding save from Dolby, tipping it over the crossbar. United trying their luck from range twice in the last couple of minutes and twice Dolby denying them. 15 minutes played, United on top at the moment but still no goals. That's a poor clearance, it's collected by Wavin who drills it and again Dolby won't be denied. Saved by the feet of the Chichester number 23 between the sticks. A chance of Chichester's own making, Wavin trying to take advantage but a smart stop by Dolby keeps her clean sheet intact. Simmons offering the short corner option, it won't be taken. Now oh, Judy Mike's off the line. The header by Tammy Wayne, cleared just in time by Janice Austin. Hughes. Nikki Miles. Lofted pass. And that's the worst place in the world to lose a ball. But O'Brien couldn't divert it into the net. Now Wavin. Close down by Clark, gets it away to Tash Merritt. Floats over the head of Ogle. Merritt going to lop all over Dolby. Up by Dolby. And O'Brien challenged just in time by Tammy Wayne, denying the opportunity for the young forward to turn it home. But again, Dolby performs heroics, keeping out the chip from Merrick. Hughes towards that near post. Dolby's punch. Still in there with Nat Haig. It's in a cluster of white and red. 
and Chichester just able to clear, but they will concede the throw. Level with the penalty area on the right side. A line of red waiting on the edge of the box. In by Hughes. Merritt's header! And the opening goal for the Red and Greens! Merritt denied an injury time last week. But there was no denying the defensive midfielder today. The cushioned header from Tash Merritt. Dolby rooted to her spots and the Red and Green girls take the lead. Ten minutes before the break, it's Chichester City ladies nil. Coventry United ladies one. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that may well be Tash Merritt's first goal in the Red of Coventry United. Up into the air by Merritt. Brought down by the head of Wayne. Volley pass by Clark. In goes Castle. Looking for the opening. The back heel. Out comes Sue Wood. Cheeky setup play by Chichester. But once again, Wood there to deny them as Clark tried to reach that back heel. Throw to Barron. Misplaced pass collected by Hughes. Hughes takes on the back line on her own. And again, Dolbeer there to save Chichester. Tipping the ball around the post. Well, no doubt about who's been the star of the show so far. It was a pinpoint perfect delivery from Amber Hughes that set up Merritt for the opening goal of the match in the first half. Will she be able to find the right option again? Jade Brook, dipping effort, dips out of play. They do have options on the bench if needed, including United's top scorer from last year, by who was actually injured at this ground back in September, Helen Dermody. Also on the bench, Erin Ryden, Jenna Roberts and Lois Jeffries. Jeffries is struggling with an ankle injury though, so will only be brought on in extreme circumstances if United are falling behind. Brooks hard work. O'Brien into Hughes, Amber Hughes, Dolbear got something on it but this time there was nothing she could do and Coventry United double their money. Driven home from Amber Hughes, a second goal in a week and the scoring in the FA Cup fixture last Sunday. Always a player you can rely on. And the red and green girls are one step closer to the next round. It's Chichester City nil, Coventry United 2. Chichester getting everyone behind this. The third goal would surely clinch it. Hughes brings the flair. Gauntlet brings the power. Brook brings the accuracy. Who will it be? The wall is positioned. And look up, it's going to be Brooks ball. It's not for Gauntlet. Flies wide. Power in abundance. But the target was not hit. United would be the favourite in the southern section if they can pull off the win today. Merrick of the post, touch Merrick so close to finding the net from virtually the same routine we saw her convert her first goal in the first half. Merrick will need support with Jade Brook. Brook is found. Merrick down line in support. Brook goes alone. Brook's cross comes to Hughes at the far post. Amber Hughes spun away O'Brien. Flag raise on the far side. <laughs> Looking at the numbers of the Chester subs, they've had to bring them on. Looks like Natasha Stevens and Jess Lurie are getting ready. And Tash Merritt collides with Castle. And Merritt has already been booked. And this could be the end of the day for the United midfielder. The book is out. 
And so is the red card. It's a second bookable offence. And Tash Merritt, on the day she scored her first goal for the Red and Green Girls, is sent off.